Oh, shit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to draw yourself in the Rick and Morty style. I'm doing it on a tablet, a dig uh, in a digital Photoshop file now, but you can also do it on paper. The Rick and Morty style is very simplistic. The characters are not drawn with a lot of detail, which makes it a lot, of, a lot easier to draw it yourself. Uh, I've put a little picture of Rick and Morty on as a reference to see how they look in this uh, show and what I'm gonna do here is draw myself in that style. When we look at this reference picture you can see that the eyes are pretty much the same size and the pupils are that are drawn like a bit of a star they're not round pu pupils. Colors are just plain there's no shading there's no extra lighting effects not just to make things much more simple all right so let's start with drawing a basic shape for the head we can just simply draw a circle also if you're not familiar with photoshop i recommend watching a tutorial on how to use that first and if you're drawing on paper it should be a lot easier to actually draw this so when you're doing it on paper just draw don't draw a circle just make sure you're making a bit of a shape like this all right so now we've got this stretched out circle which will be the base for our face uh, this picture here will be like a profile fit picture you can use on Twitter or whatever just the face and the shoulders and not a full body let's add in a neck uh, it's a ne my neck it's it should be simple just like that the face is leaning a bit forward so I'm doing that as well now we're just moving on to the shoulders the bodies of all the characters in the series are very skinny and lean I'm gonna draw myself as a very lean person all the characters are also very long and stretched out so we've got our very skinny body here now we've got a bit of a basic body sketch to work with here if you want to use this sketch uh, and draw over it yourselves, uh, there will be a download in the description below in which you can draw this template and just easily draw yourself over that. And now it's time to actually make draw myself onto this sketch template. I'm gonna start off with the eyes since those are... How do we know where to put the eyes? Well, we have got this amazing reference first and the eyes are very big and as you can see on our reference again the uh, one of the eyes always sticks out a bit and since, uh, like I said, both eyes are the same size so I'm gonna just copy and paste my second eye and put it literally next to our first eye. Looks a bit crap, but that doesn't matter. It's a sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna draw over this and add in the line work later on in, and that's where we'll add in the colors and everything like that. I'm gonna add in my nose. As you can see on the Rick reference, Rick's nose just hangs a bit downwards like that, but I'm gonna draw my mine a bit bigger and a bit more facing upwards it's really easy it's just basically a C you draw a C the letter C onto the face right between the eyes it can overlap the eyes if you want to but I'm gonna make it hang a little bit but not too much like the rig nose where do you put your mouth well you can pretty much use any shape because it's a cartoon in the Rick and Morty series the mouth can pretty much go in any any place, any shape. Uh, one really recognizable mouth is, of course, the hanging balls. The hanging balls mouth. You just draw a pair of balls under the nose and you're done. But I'm gonna draw a bit of a sad mouth here. I'm gonna draw my myself, my character, as a bit of a depressed artist who's really, really done with all this shit. Also, one thing that pretty much in every mouth in Rick and Morty style has is th these lips that expand that stand out when they when they talk or smile or 
like the mouth goes out of the head. I'm just gonna add it in. They don't have to be very big, just big enough. Now I've got a basic face and it's not really recognizable yet, right? To actually make it recognizable you have to pick some features of your own face that really stand out. I'm really looking like an old man here so I'm also gonna remove one of these stripes here because I don't want to look like Rick as well, especially not as old as Rick. We also want to add in the pupils. As I like I said before the pupils are basically star small little stars inside of the head. In most of the time most cartoons use like dots like these. Uh, but the Rick and which is really cool Rick and Morty use this kind of star shape which is really unique I've never really seen something like that before it's something Justin Roiland really want uh, Justin Roiland used in his early work I believe and he kept it which is really cool things are coming along pretty great as you can see it's starting to look a bit more like me the ears in Rick and Morty are just these little half circles put them a little bit below the eyes let's add in some hair because I'm pretty bald in here right now and I'm not really I'm nearly bald but not that bald so I'm also gonna add in the cap hair because the eyebrows are a very important key feature as well and they're just two stripes <laughs> don't think about them too much one key feature of their hair with Rick and Morty is eh, with the Rick and Morty style is that you don't have to make all those pointy things to make it look like hair you just it could be a circle above a head and that could be just the hair just keep it as simple as possible don't try to make add in details that are not necessary I'm gonna speed things up a little and do the line work what what's the line work basically I just go over the whole sketch and refine the lines so it doesn't look as sketched as it is right now just so I'm gonna fill this thing up now and I'll get back to you with coloring things in See, I finished the line work. You should not take a lot of time for the line work here. I didn't really use a lot of undos here. It's just so simplistic. You should not take too long to finish this when using your fine liners. Well, on paper, it's a little different. You should take it slow because with fine liners taking your time will give, give, your, give you a better result. But here in Photoshop, things can be a little bit easier. I'm gonna actually use the skin color of Morty and voila that's pretty much me right there yeah here we've, uh, here we've got ourselves in a Rick and Morty style well I hope this tutorial guide helped you draw yourself if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below I will answer every and each I will, tr uh, I will answer each and every one of them and thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, cheers! Hey it's me again guys, like I said in the title there will also be a giveaway, so what I'm gonna give away is a drawing made by me in the Rick and Morty style of one of you guys, all you really have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with something nice doesn't have to be nice just say something you want to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel i will announce the winner in the next video and i will draw you uh, myself in a personal drawing which would be really cool thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers